I decided that I can eliminate the need to buy a bunch of trucks to feed both of these breweries two different kinds of grain, I'm just going to make two courses, one for barley and one for wheat that will catch both of them. I'll do that right here. So this one will be for wheat. Fifty-six Mag B61 dump truck. Instead of the international, no more wheat in that silo so I'll just have to tell it drive now and use what you got. Yeah this is the Mac B61. Nice truck. even from the inside. And we have both factories are making beer. It's always good. Well, maybe this dump truck don't work. case we'll go back to the international. I wouldn't know why it wouldn't work. It works on every other map. But apparently it doesn't work on this map. Oh, I knew why that would be. 
be uh, some triggers the truck you use is what makes the difference and it's obviously the case here because it's not triggering at all well, such a shame uh, looking for a reason to use this truck Well, you got to see it anyway. There it is, the truck that don't work. Look at the rear tires don't spin. There we go. Yeah, I'll I'll keep it around, I guess. I don't know what else I could use it for. Yeah, a matter of fact, why keep it around? It don't work. But we'll try out the same course with our international. We know that one works. get rid of the grain in here first. It's a trigger problem. She dumps just fine. Now for now we'll just park her over here and Nor if it's a her, she was a bad girl. She didn't, she couldn't do her job. Now this one's full of barley. Shouldn't make any difference. So eventually, we'll have two trucks, one for each type. Matter of fact, I can use the same course. So let's test this out. Deliver wheat to breweries. Well, that's, it'll work for both. barley until the harvesters come in with their loads. We'll check on them once we verify this course. I like this truck. It's a little bit squirrely in steering. It, it, actually, the steering is too sensitive. I guess they did it that way because it's a cab over and they do maneuver it a little better, but it's a little, it's a little too sensitive. Okay, just a little tiny bit. What's going on now? Maybe it doesn't like the direction it's coming from. Okay, so apparently the direction that you approach those triggers from makes a difference. So I have <coughs> re-recorded the course play course. And we'll see if it works. Yeah, 
recorded it so it comes here first. Now it's not going to drop much. tiny bit. It's getting cloudy. Spin around, hit this one, Not beer. A little tiny bit. Now it may work with that uh, Mac still because of those direction problems with the trigger. So I'm going to try the Mac. Try the Mac with with the wheat. Get off the road. Because I like the Mac better, at least right now. It changes every week. I'll get rid of the old one. Deliver to breweries. Wheat. Do we have wheat? Yeah. Three hundred and nineteen thousand. Save it. So why won't it even take it out of the trigger? Now see? I don't know, maybe it's in the wrong spot. Back it up a little, try it again. There we go. Fast forward time a little so it uses up some of the grains. You can see if it's working or not. Mail for farm Yeah, I've got mail. No, well, apparently it don't work. I sure don't know why that is. I guess if trucks have different triggers. It's got to be just in the scripting. So, we'll go. 
take her back and sell her. Got no use for a dump truck that won't dump. The harvest continues. Uh, I got two of these overloaders. Finally got them working properly. I'm testing out the new, the newest version of course play. 00055. It's a developer's version, so it could be buggy, but we're we're finding out. So far, it's working good. I had to disable pathfinding. I don't know if that made a difference or not yet, but it was just like. The overloader was just out roaming around trying to find its path. So apparently pathfinding isn't very good at finding paths. I think uh, uh, it, it may have learned from that and just quit doing it, but it was, I don't think it was a coincidence when I shut it off. Now all of a sudden it tends to the combine just fine. We also have a new member of the crew an old Kenworth 521 with sleeper. Great looking truck. Well, we still have the other Kenworth. Keep it as a backup, but I'd like to switch my trucks around once in a while. Okay, the beer distributors in the next county are liking what they're getting so far, so they have built a warehouse, which would be in the northwest corner of the map, kitty corner from where we're at right now. And then it's a long drive, but I guess we could have put the warehouse right down the street, but then, you know, what's the point of buying a truck to haul it? So we told them to put it on the northwest corner of the map so we got a little bit of a drive to get there. So let's see if we can incorporate course plate to, heal, to deal with this since this truck is not really a pleasure to drive. Matter of fact, I may even swap it out. Why don't we do that? Swap it out for one of the new Kenworths that I've got down at the emptying the harvesters. We'll put him here for now. Let's see, we want a truck. Yeah, this is a nice truck. I, I like them old trucks. Don't pay attention to, to this day cab version. I tried to modify it to get rid of the sleeper, but it didn't work. It's it, I gotta work on it some more. Well, we'll select this one. Trailer hitch. Let's get uh, the big motor. Now, main color. I always got problems selecting colors. Let's just go with a neutral type of color. Well, it's for beer. Beer is this uh, funky kind of color. Try that. Design. Beacon lights. We don't need beacon lights. Uh, design color, I've, I've noticed no difference in that. I just leave it at blank. Black. All right, run down to the store. Auto save. And there she is.
gets a bit shaky in the cab. There's always something. Every mod I own, I think. And most of them, there's just always something. color combination but we're not here for fashion well a little bit backup beepers got to go okay now let's see where do we want to start this I, I think it's best just to Keep the truck parked. I'm going to have them start right at the end here. Now I'm going to be using point A to B mode. I just have to remember to hit the X button before I cut her loose and That'll enable the UAL, and she should just drive by and grab them, and then haul them over to the warehouse, and then come back. Now we may want to stay out of the way of the fiddling trucks. And I can leave her here after she gets done. Hit the X. Start recording. like we got a little unloading going on there. We just finished with it. Well, no reason to put the rest of you through this. I'll uh, come back when we're there. Okay, I take it back. I had put it at the opposite corner I have to stop it here put in a wait point at this point I'll have to unlash the beer and it should start picking it up by itself Well, we're going to leave the beer on there because we're testing this out. This is the southeast corner. I think. Looks southeast to me. And we head on back to the barn. Here we are. Back at the brewery. Let's 
see if we can do this without screwing it up. I've had to do these course play courses over and over more than once. I'm getting pretty good at it, but ain't perfect. Lord knows. We'll back it up a little. Okay. So let's name this beer to warehouse. Sounds reasonable to me. Alright. Of course, I'm not going to hit the X this time because I don't want it to pick anything up. At least I'm hoping it won't. Then I'll get partial pallets. Well, I guess we'll find out. Let's give her a shot. I hope it picked them up. Which means it's not going to come back. Oh, look at that. It takes a second layer of pallets. I didn't know that. And we won't have to make as many trips to the warehouse then. I don't know why that overloader's out there waiting for that combine. I guess it didn't get a full load like it should have. Usually that happens when it catches the combine at the end, the end of the row, but which doesn't happen often. It's a big field. Uh, he'll eventually pick it up. And I got another one standing by. Back him up. All right, we'll come back when we get to the warehouse and see how well that works. Almost there. Odd looking load. Now they're going to think we drank that beer or hauling it down here. Well, maybe we did. Now, what we need to do here is stop the driver. I think all we got to hit is Y. Well, we got to hit X first. Then Y. Oh, yeah, it's grabbing them. It moves them around. For some reason, this warehouse doesn't seem to list a whole lot. I guess it takes cow poop. Big deal. And it pays $500 for beer. Whereas the drop-off point called the pub behind Mom's pays $2,500 a pallet or a thousand liters. So I don't know which one sounds... Well, one sounds better, the higher one, but yeah, we're not playing this for the money anyway. Save the game. Well, we got what? Eighteen thousand dollars for all that, and it missed one pallet for some reason. Just 
hit X and Y randomly a couple times, it seems to work. There's another thousand dollars, so it ain't it ain't paying a whole lot. Sixteen thousand dollars for a whole truckload of beer isn't a lot of money. But that's the deal that Mom made with the distributors. I guess she's uh, selling it to them cheap because they're buying a lot of it. So they make money in the long run. All right, now we got that done. We hit drive course and then continue, and it should just follow its way back to where it started. So now that that route is established, I'll probably take the road paver and put a road to it, just for eye candy, and for no other reason. And thank you to the mod author of the warehouse for getting rid of that three foot high foundation it had. Uh, much better without it. 